Hi there, today we're going to practice subtracting below 10. So subtracting is removing something from a total. For instance, if I had the number 5 and I wanted to take away 3, I would be subtracting, I would be removing 3 from this. Today we're going to use two different strategies. One is called take away, take away, and the other strategy we're going to use is called counting on. Now first we're going to look at the strategy take away. With the take away strategy, you're removing the smaller number. So the smaller number between these two is 3. So here we have 5 apples and we're going to remove 3. 1's gone, 2 is gone, 3 is gone. So our difference, what is left over, is 1, 2. So our answer is 2. Another way with the takeaway is using a number line. With our number line, we can see exactly what we did there. We find our number 5, and we take away 3 from it. We're going to go back 3. 1, 2 hops, 3. And we land on our answer of 2 we've removed 3 from a total of 5. So we had 5 for it at the beginning, and we took away 3 for an answer of 2. Now let's take a look at our counting on strategy. So with counting on, you look at the smaller of the two numbers, the, less, the lesser of the two numbers. So between 5 and 3, which is the lesser of the two numbers? Well, of course, it's 3. 3 is the smaller number. Now we can find 3 on our number line and count on to 5. So if we count on, we have one hop, two hops. That takes one, and that takes two. So we have made two hops, so the difference between three and five is two. Just like counting backwards, five to four to three to find two by subtracting this, but you can actually find the difference between these two numbers. Because that's what really subtraction is about. It's finding the distance or difference between two separate numbers. Let's practice one together. Now the larger number is 6, and we're taking away 4 from it. So you can take away, or you can count on to figure out your answer. You try which strategy works best for you. Okay, let's take a look. I'm going to start with the take away. So we have six. I'm going to draw out six circles here. Three, four, five, six. And I'm going to take away the smaller number, which in this case is four. So let's remove those. One, two, three, four. How many am I left over with? One, two. My answer is two. I could also use my counting on strategy to do this as well. Start with the smaller number, four. And I'm going to count up to 6. So I have 4, 5, 6. I had to go 2 hops to get to that number. 4 to 5, 5 to 6. One hop here, another hop here, for a difference of 2. That's the distance between 4 and 6 is 2. 6 minus 4 is 2. Great job. Finally, here we have a word problem. How would you write 6 minus 3 as a subtraction sentence. Write it down on your paper, and then we're going to explore it and figure out the subtraction sentence. Okay, so we see I have 6 minus 3. 6 minus 3. So as a subtraction sentence, we'll take the 6, and we have the 3, Minus tells us something. Are we adding or subtracting? We're subtracting, so we're going to put the subtraction symbol, which is that slash. And now we have the subtraction sentence, 6 minus 3. Now, let's figure out what our answer is, what our difference is going to be. 6 take away 3. Use one of your two strategies. Remember we've been reviewing take away and counting on. So this time I'm going to take away again. 1, 2, 
three, four, five, six. Remove three, one, two, three, and we have a difference of three. Great job. So today we've been practicing subtracting below 10. We reviewed two different strategies, take away and counting on. Use these to do a lot of great subtraction work. Great job and talk to you soon about math.